welcome back <laughs> to us. Um, it has been a, a while since we've uh, uploaded a video, but we are finally back. Um, apologies, COVID hit us quite hard this time. Um, COVID hit us quite hard. Um, and we are, we are back with, with a vengeance. Um, and we will be uploading some videos again. So we're going to jump back in today uh, with a, a cool little video. Uh, we went through all the comments and, and one that uh, stood out for us was the ability to extract some GPS coordinates uh, from GoPro footage within Premiere Pro. Um, so let's get going. <music> Right, so today we are going to be looking at GoPro and GoPro footage and extracting GPS information from them. So you can head over to our GitHub. Um, we've uh, had our website revamped as well. So if you head over to the automatorplus.com, uh, click on this little GitHub icon at the top right, um, you will end up at uh, our GitHub homepage, uh, but we'll also pop a little link to this uh, GoPro GPS uh, script on, on GitHub that we're going to be looking at today. So some wacky stuff over here uh, and we're going to unpack that today. I've got uh, a nice little video of what we got beautiful ocean um, and we're gonna figure out where in the world this footage was was taken so this was taken with the GoPro um, and I mean GoPro GPS coordinates um, super useful uh, we're thinking of like a future video where you can group uh, your footage based on GPS locations so maybe you've uh, got a lot of locations that you shot at and within Premiere Pro you just want to dump all of those uh, footage and then be able to create some bins with all the different locations where you shot. Um, so future little video, but for now we're just going to build the, the building blocks for that and that is extracting the GPS information. Right, so let's uh, let's jump into it. So you can just download this little tutorials um, repo from GitHub. Uh, so you can just go here and download the zip, get all the code, uh, or you can just copy and paste it easy easy uh, we've got another video on how to set up your vs code get extend script going all of that so um, not going to go into too much detail on that in this video but once you've set everything up uh, you should be able to uh, run this gopro uh, little script against your premiere pro so let us unpack um, what is cooking here um, at the top here, uh, super basic stuff that we've always done, uh, getting the project, getting the sequence, getting the clips, um, and getting the first track item, right? So the first clip over here um, is what we call a track item. So Premiere Pro uh, generalizes, so it doesn't just call it a clip, it says it's a track item because it can be a video clip or a audio clip. Um, so everything up to here, nothing too crazy. Um, but for us to get that GPS information, we need to go and uh, call this XMP metadata, um, which is which is the rough one. Um, and that's going to return wacky XML um, that we need to parse. So, so let's run this up till here. Um, boom, boom. Nice. So up until this point, uh, yeah, so I've just gone and inserted a little uh, breakpoint here. Uh, it's a nice little feature of using VS Code. Um, in the gutter, uh, you can like set these little dots um, so you can run your code up to there. Super nice for debugging. Um, so I've now run it up to this little line, so I should have this XMP uh, variable over here. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this. What are we getting back? Boom. Right, so a lot of information. Um, and this is now about this clip, right? So create date, modify date, all the nice little metadata, um, orientation, um, what a what a, uh, but this is what we're interested in. Nice little GPS longitude, GPS latitude. Um, and this is in the 
XF GPS latitude longitude format. Um, so if you uh, give that a Google, um, there's some some info online about how to to parse that. Um, what it comes down to is we're getting degrees, minutes, and seconds, right? So the the format that we're getting here, degrees, minutes, and then we've got decimal um, right after the minutes. Um, so you'll see on uh, some of the online resources, um, you can have a different format here as well, saying that it's uh, degrees, minutes, comma, seconds, and then decimal seconds. Um, but for us, it's just going to be degrees, minutes, and then we directly have decimal. So we just have decibel minutes. So that's going to be the most difficult thing in this tutorial, um, is really converting that format um, into a nice little long lat that we all know and love that you can pop into Google Maps. So we yeah, bah, got a little function for you that's going to do that. Right, so we need to be able to extract that. Um, and how do we do that? This. Yeah, there's some chaos. Uh, what it does um, is we're basically saying this thing, um, it's of type string, right? So it's a bunch of characters, um, as you can see here. Um, and ExtendScript um, has got this JavaScript, right? So keeping in mind, ExtendScript is JavaScript, but not quite. So not all the nice little things that you Google for, um, for JavaScript, you'll be able to do in ExtendScript. Um, but match is one of the, the functions that we do have. Um, and that's basically going to, I wonder if it's going to be nice enough to, to allow us. Let's, let's check this out. JavaScript match. Yeah. Uh, but basically what you can give it is some string and it will return uh, where in that string that is being matched. Um, so that's cool for normal strings, uh, but we're going to get a bit more advanced. Um, and over here, uh, we are going to do some, some regex, right? So if you... Uh, ever heard about regex, you will know that it's a pain. Um, so beautiful ability. Um, let me point you to some uh, some resources here. So it's the ability to search for things with some syntax. Yeah. So you're going to see all of these little weird things over here. Um, and each of them has got a meaning. Um, so Again, we're going to provide you with the nice little regex, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, but if you are interested, um, I do advise using something like a regex editor to just uh, understand a bit more how things are working. Uh, but basically what we're saying here is we want to go and find the thing that we want to extract is this little dot asterisk, right? Um, and it resides within between this little GPS longitude and latitude, right? So if I pop this to the right, um, this is the thing that we want, we're interested in. Um, so boom, 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 and it's going to be able to yank that out for us. Um, it's going to come back with a list though, um, and we want to just extract the first value over there. Okay. So again, you can plug and play. Uh, but if for some reason your GoPro version is maybe a bit older, um, or maybe even newer, um, this format might not be exactly the same then you might have to adjust this. Um, yeah. Cool, so we're stepping through that, lacquer lacquer, um, stepping through this guy, um, and if I check out uh, these two little variables here on the right hand side, what do we got, what do we got? Bam, bam, bam. Cool, so here we go, we got GPS lat DMS, right, so these are these two. Um, ignore these two. They, uh, they're there from a previous run, so you shouldn't be seeing them yet. Um, this GPS long DMS and this DMS I'm just calling degrees, minutes, seconds, right? So that's, that's where the DMS comes from. Um, that's what we would have extracted from the, the XMP data. So now we've got this nice little function. Uh, again, you just copy and paste it, uh, but it converts DMS to long lat. Um, so sneaky little things that it does, um, you don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, but basically what comes out of that uh, is these lats and longs that you see over here. Again, matching, we're regexing. Um, all that that is saying is yank out this first thing, right? So if you are interested, here we are saying, hey, go match 
a number, right? So this little dash D is for numbers um, before the comma, right? So that allows us to extract this little degrees, which is the thing that we want to be passing into this function. So the first argument is the degrees. Um, then the next one is the minutes, right? So minutes uh, is basically this thing. So go and yank out everything um, in front of the, the dot. Um, and then the next one, go and yank out everything after the dot. Um, and then also go and match north, south, west, east, because um, we're passing that as the direction. Um, so again, copy paste this little function. Um, and you can use it as such. Um, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. So if I run this through, uh, I get a nice little alert. So this is this uh, little alert at the bottom that I've used, uh, GPS latitude and GPS longitude. So we can just go and copy that. Lecker, lecker, lecker. Uh, and Let's see, we can pop that into uh, all Google Maps, eh? And you shall know the big question of where was this footage taken? <gasps> yeah, that looks about like an accurate beach, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so this was taken. Kazakhstan? West of Kazakhstan? What country was this? Where was this? You don't even know. Oh, <laughs> okay. No, I thought. Uh, okay, can't pronounce it. Well, there, 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 there. And as we can see, the nice little beach over there um, is very much akin to to this little beach of a So there we go. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, nice little quick one to be able to extract your GPS information from the from the GoPro footage. Uh, this XMP data, super rich and other things, uh, depending on what camera you're shooting with. So if there are any other things you'd like us to extract and use and parse, um, future video again for us would is going to definitely be me grouping locations into bins and actually using this information that we've just extracted. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we are putting down on this channel, head over to our website, automatedplus.com and sign up for a free month trial for our software. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments and we will get to them.